Hello everyone, this is Mr. Elvarona here today for a break breakdown of Mina Ashido, or the alien queen as people call her. Um, Mina, I would say, is definitely a flashy combo character. She can do a lot of really long, really flashy looking combos off of almost any touch, even though they don't do a lot of damage. They, they look really awesome, and, and that's the m m important thing, right? <laughs> um, she also has a lot of unusual setups and screen control. I would say she's definitely a controlling character and a flashy combo character. So, now, getting into her buttons. Her regular attack string is an 8-hitting attack string that requires three buttons. So you press it three times, and then she'll go into this final hit. The final hit can be dash cancelled for... Follow-ups. Um, a tilt attack, or armor, or yellow attack, is a long-ranged move. It's pretty fast. It's a lot better in the air, and a lot of people use it as a combo extender. Her air tilt attack is really great, and it's used in most of her combos for combo extending. Her air combo string is an 11 hitting string that can be cancelled and it does really great damage and this is you always do all 3 buttons or 11 hits in your combo if you can because it does great damage and extends into a lot of things. Her red attack or her unblockable attack is amazing. It is ridiculous. Even if it has, doesn't have the fastest startup, which it does have very fast startup, she launches herself so far into the air that if someone presses anything, it's almost like an armor move, because what they press is going to completely miss, and she's going to get her red attack. It's just amazing. It's an armor move and a red attack in one. And it's very long range, as you can see here. She can do it from almost... from not that far, but about here. And, and she can combo from it, which is just crazy. It's a great red attack, and... You, you definitely would realize if you fought Amina online before. Okay, now into her quirk buttons. Her quirk one is this acid spray of hers. Up close, hits the enemy a bunch of times, it does good damage, and does damage over time, as most of her attacks do, as it leaves acids on them. Damage over time is dot damage. Um, when you hold this down, she can move it around to put those puddles, more of those puddles on the ground, which if the enemy walks into they will do... It'll it'll just hit them a little bit. It'll just do a tiny bit of damage and that's about it. Do some dot damage. In the air, a quirk one, it looks the same, but it has this amazing effect where it actually <laughs> causes it to rain on the opponent. So the acid that she sprays out falls down and it creates all these puddles on the ground. As it falls, it hits them, and as they walk into it, it hits them. It's just really great. <laughs> Oh, he managed to avoid it there somehow. See, it, it hits him as he falls down, and those trap hit him, hit, hit him as well, as you saw he walked into them before. See, like there. And they do a little bit of damage, and some dot damage, and they're just good at controlling the screen. If you throw that out, then throw these out. There's just, the enemy is really scared to, like, go on the ground or do anything near you, because you've got such control of the screen. Um, her tilt quirk too, as I just showed, uh, she throws a bunch of acid balls into the air, and they land on, t on the ground, or they can hit the opponent. If he wasn't standing still, they're a lot more likely to hit them, because she throws them straight at him, so the sideways ones will hit. Um, they do decent damage, but you know they're also just mainly a, screen a screen control damage. Uh, if you do it up close, if the opponent per se dashes into you when you're about to do it, they do actually hit them and can do decent damage like on the way up as well. So, you're not completely vulnerable if they are near you when you throw it. And it also leaves them quite close to you. Um, mainly, as I said before, it's a good screen, screen control ability. Just put all these acid things onto the screen and the opponent's not going to know like where they can move, what to do. They, they're going to want to jump into the airs and then you'll be able to anti-air them. Um, a quirk 2 um, is this breakdancing move, which I'm sure you've seen a bunch if you've ever fought Amina. It's a classic combo ender, does great damage, uh, if it does, you can actually move away if you want, you can use it as an escape method, you can 
use it as a way to get in because she moves and attacks at the same time. It does great damage, it combos. You can dash cancel after it if you want. Um, but its main use is from the air for extending her combos. So as you can see the air version, she go she break dances down onto the ground first, which I find amazing. So here I'll jump on top of Deku where it where it was least up. I'll do two jump, and she breaks down onto the ground, and this one actually follows the opponent, so you don't have to worry about trying to keep it on top of them. And it can be cancelled from her air combo, so if I do one, two, three, and then into this, I've just done great damage from basically no effort. Her tilt quirk is this wall that she puts up. It's similar to her other screen, screen control moves. She puts it up, it hits when she puts it out, and if they walk into it, it'll obviously hit them as well. Like that, it'll launch them away, give her time to throw out her other things, and just really enforce that screen control that I was talking about before. So, yeah, just making, <laughs> making the enemy even more aware that they are not allowed to just run around all willy-nilly. As you saw there, that one stayed up for a lot longer. You can either just tap it, it'll do this wall that lasts for like two seconds, um, but it's a lot faster, or she can hold it down, and it puts up this larger wall that lasts for a lot longer. And it also hits the opponent multiple times, unlike the other one. And that can be used for combo extensions if you want. Okay, now that we've started combos, let's get into her combos. She has a few ways of getting combos, and because she's very good at it. So for meterless, she might have the best meterless damage in the game, or the easiest at least. So she can do her basic attack string into her air, um, her air yellow attack, her air armor attack, or tilt attack, and then cancel that into her breakdance move, and it'll look like this. That was no meter, no dash cancel, 7,700 damage, which is amazing, because it was easy, it is very reliable, you can basically always do it, no matter how much meter you have, that's just amazing. Most characters, if they're lucky, they'll be able to do 6,000 damage with no meter, Nina can do 7,700. It, it, it's really great. I've, this is probably one of the best things about Mina, is the fact that she can always be doing great, flashy combos. Um, if you want to spend meter, Mina has a few ways of uh, extending her combos. She can either do two hits into her quirk one move, and then dash cancel out of that. I'll show you what that looks like. So two hits into this, hold it down, dash cancel, into her, her oh that didn't even, it missed the last hit. Um, Sorry, I forgot, stopped annotating. So, two hits into this, into one, two, three, armor move, into breakdance. And that does 9,500 damage. Um, it's pretty reliable, pretty easy. Not as easy as her meterless damage, but it's still pretty good. Uh, you need to make sure when you hold this down that you are holding it down when you press the dash cancel button, or else you won't get the dash cancel. So yeah, 9,500, 9,300 damage, pretty good and pretty easy. Um, as you saw before, another way of extending her combos is by using not just her wall, because that'll do what 3,500 damage on its own, but if you do the held down wall after the first two hits... Oops. It'll do 5,500, I believe? Yeah, about 5,500, which is a lot more. And you can dash cancel after that to do what I believe is an optimal-ish combo. So two hits into a held wall, into... Oops. Two hits into held wall. One, two, three, armor move. Into her breakdance. Um, that reset for some reason. I'll try that again. So one, two, into held wall. One, two, three. Into Amu, into her breakdance. 
and that does 10,000 damage. Sometimes it does 10,200. It it is really great. That it's for a lot of characters, the most they can get is 9,000 or 8,000, but you can get uh, 10,000 almost all the time, guaranteed. Yeah, see there, it did a bit more damage, it did 10,120. It just depends on how much of this you let hit, and... Okay. Um... She can also do good damage if you're in the air and you want to anti-air the opponent. So say you've been like throwing a lot of these and you know the enemy's trying to get into the air so they can avoid all of your stuff that you've set on the ground. So you can jump into the air and do your air combos to counter them. And... Oh, wait, no, not do that. Wait, uh... So you jump into the air, do... One, two... Three into the armor move, into her breakdance, and then dash cancel at one, two, three into breakdance for 8,300 damage, which is pretty good. Um, the same goes for almost all of her combos. She can break, uh, dash cancel her breakdance for a little bit more damage. So let's see with her optimal here. How much damage will we get? Eleven thousand two hundred and eighty damage. Basically, eleven thousand three hundred damage for two dash cancels. That is pretty amazing. Good job, Mina. Uh, you can see why I called her a flashy combo character. She's just always able to get these amazing long combos. And if that wasn't crazy enough, let me show you something. So if I do, oops, if I do two hits into this and actually hit it, one, two into this. One, two, into this, and then one, two, three. Armor move, one, uh, dash cancel, one, two, three, to this. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Wait, one more try. One, two, into this, one, two. One, two, into this. Oh my god. Yeah, wait, I'll do a bit of an easy combo, combo. I'll do her quirk one. So, one, two, into quirk one. One, two, three, this, dash, um, breakdance, one, two, three, breakdance, floor break dance, into plus ultra one. After her entire crazy combo, you can cancel into her plus ultra one after she goes into the ground breakdance. That is amazing. <laughs> Um, let's see, I'll try one more time after for the optimal. Three into breakdance, ground breakdance. Oh, um, two. Oh no, 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 no! Oh yes. And then into level one. Fourteen thousand and a wall splat. I wasn't even expecting that. Okay, I messed up the wall splat combo, but I probably could have gotten fifteen, sixteen thousand damage for two dash cancels and a plus ultra. And yes, that's quite a lot of meter, but that's a lot of damage. That's practically half of their health bar. Um, otherwise, comboing into plus ultra, the best thing is probably just to do the two hits into the... into the wall. Okay, never mind, that's not gonna hit. <laughs> Maybe two hits into this. I mean, I don't really know what, see why you would. If you can go one, two, wall, one, two, three, armor move, wah, wah, into level one, like, why wouldn't you? That is... I just find that amazing that she can do that. After her entire combo, there we go, 13,419 damage. If I was near a wall, I could have gotten a wall splat even more, probably 15, 16,000 damage. That is pretty amazing. And... I think that's gotten me to the end of my Mina breakdown. So basically, basically, guys, just make sure, you know, you're throwing out all of her area control things, putting all these puddles on the ground, puddles of acid, everything on the ground, putting her wall down, it'll stay there for a while if you hold it, throw these out, 
And when they're really scared to move, or they're blocking, <laughs> or you're behind this wall and you throw this, throw in her red attack, and they're probably not even going to see it behind the wall, and all of a sudden you're going into these ridiculous combos again, that she can do after basically anything and get a solid 9,000. She can almost get always get 9,000 damage. Like, if you don't have meter, obviously not, but you know, get your red attack, one, two, three, into this. Ah, she's just so fun, she's such a fun character to play because she can always cancel off of stuff, she can also always get great combos, but she isn't overpowered like 100% Deku who has all these cheap moves. She has unusual things that some people find cheap, but I think overall she's definitely a, quite a balanced character. Like this breakdance move is very unsafe on block because of the kick she does. Her things don't stay on the screen for too long. You have to keep putting them out, which can be unsafe for the opponent reads that you're doing them. See all the puddles disappear like after a second. Um, I should say probably the most overpowered part about her is this red attack because, like I was saying, it's like a arm move and a red attack in one. But that aside, Mina, combo queen in this game. I just love her so much, and oh yeah, got to show her level two. Let's see this. There we go. That is, I believe, Mina. She's you know, said it a hundred times, but she's very flashy, good at screen control, and just hella fun to play. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.